What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavank here, and continuing with some 2022 NFL Draft first round reactions. I want to talk about the New York Jets, obviously, and this was truly a Joe Douglas masterpiece uh, for the Jets here in the first round. Obviously, it starts at the top. You know, you you have a corner room in 2021 that you know was good considering the players they had: Bryce Hall, Brandon Eccles, Michael Carter II. Like that's that's a fine room. But to come out and, you know, you see Stingley go third, come out and seal the deal with Sauce Gardner at four, which is a phenomenal selection. One of the top corners in the draft, if not the top corner for most. He just has the temperament and he has the star power. He, he's got the swagger, the confidence to play in the Big Apple. And I think he's going to gel really well with head coach Robert Sala just because Robert Sala... It, it feels like that motivating type, the, the guy who's going to love the physical player, the guy who's going to love the player that that's out there giving every ounce and, and is letting people know uh, how good he is, how good the defense is, and that it's going to be a long day. Again, long corner, good impress. He's going to be physical throughout routes. That's that's good news for the Jets, right? So they, they, they seal the deal. They get a, a star for the secondary. Now they go and get Garrett Wilson at 10, one of my favorites in the class and my wide receiver one. He does it at all at, in all three phases, really. And he creates space for himself as a route runner. He's flexible, crisp routes, attacks the blind spots, really dominant against off coverage. But again, has the full route tree, true separator. And again, attacks and secures at the catch point. Really impressive ball skills and catch point prowess for a guy who's 5'11", 183 pounds. And then a guy who's slippery after the catch. Now, he doesn't have to come in and be the X right away, right? You have Corey Davis, who's who's polished and has been that one in, in, in New York for a while now. But you get Garrett Wilson now, who can stretch the field at all three levels. And same with Elijah Moore. That room is really good right now. I get it. It's a little bit smaller. But again, this offense is going to give these guys opportunities to hit home runs after the catch and down the field, especially with 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 Wilson and Moore. That is a great receiver room they built for Zach Wilson now. Then they come back up into the first, trading into Tennessee's spot, just like Jermaine Johnson, who had kind of a weird fall. But again, it just seems like from, from what we heard near the end of the draft that just the media was higher on Jermaine Johnson and, and on his like quote unquote rise at the senior bowl when he played lights out the first two days, showing off the speed to power, you know, putting Darian Kennard on the ground a couple times. Like that was a great week for him. And I think, you know, the media and us kind of took took him went with it. I mean, he had a great great season in 2021, production wise, 12 sacks, 17 and a half tackles for loss. So it made sense, and it was clear that the Jets liked Jermaine Johnson. There was talk of him at 4, there was talk of him at 10, and they end up getting him at 26. Great value there. So they've really built this team up already, and still got to pick tomorrow early at 38 to make stuff happen, and I'm sure that they're going to have a good plan in place the rest of the draft, but the Jets have already really hit a home run. This is kind of a draft that's going to be the 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 big builder here for them going forward as to contending in the AFC. They, they got the quarterback last year in Zach Wilson, they believe, to be the franchise guy. You know, you, you got Elijah Vera Tucker to help out the offensive line. Now you go hit home runs at key positions, getting after the quarterback, covering, and getting open. Those three positions, receiver, corner, edge, are very important, and the Jets did a great job with this, getting value and getting great talent at every selection, really getting – Probably top three, top 15 players by most people's evaluation. So Jets did a phenomenal job. It'll be interesting to see what they do for the rest of the draft. So I hope you enjoyed this little reaction video to the Jets and, and their draft uh, so far in round one. They're gonna, uh, they, they've are gonna they done so well. I, it, they're going to be an exciting team to watch this season. There's no doubt about it with, with Salah and, and, and Mike LaFleur running that offense. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do the rest of the way. Uh, and I will see you guys uh, in the next video. Farewell.